Well, I have to say, actually, the split has been fabulous for both HP Inc., the printing and PC company, and Hewlett Packard Enterprise. It is, in this um, day and age, when technology is moving at lightning speed, frankly, it is, I think, imperative to be smaller so we can go faster. So it's actually been easier as two separate companies than it was uh, one big $100 billion company. So I think both HP Inc. and I know Hewlett Packard Enterprise were, were really pleased with the split and how it's worked out for our employees, our customers, and actually our shareholders as well. You're spinning off the services business, creating, as you said, a much more nimble company. Do you see others following that model, that leaner is better, or going the Dell route, bulking up, bigger is better? Yeah. So I think it depends on the company, on the leadership, on the industry. We've seen a lot of divestitures and carve-outs in the last 12 months. And I don't know whether it's because of us, but I think people are realizing that with the pace of change in every industry, you've got to be fast. The future is going to belong to the fast. So we thought it was important to get smaller. And But companies have different strategies. You know, we chose to get smaller. Dell chose to get bigger. We chose to delever the company. We now have five and a half billion dollars of net cash on the operating company. They've chosen to lever up. We've chosen to lean in to new technology like the industrial internet of things that you talked about, uh, you know, Docker inside every server, our three-par all-flash storage array, and Dell is actually doubling down on old technology in a cost takeout play. So different strategies for different companies. I like our hand. You said internet of things is a big opportunity for you on the back of this partnership with GE, and I'm curious, when you look at internet of things versus cloud, how much growth do you see in, in one and the other over the next five years, let's say. Yeah. Well, if you think about uh, our current business, and, and really the business for Hewlett Packard over many years, has largely been a data center focused business. And there is still pockets of growth there, whether it's private cloud or composable infrastructure or things like that. But a whole new area is what we call campus, branch, and edge. So think about autonomous uh, driving cars. Think about smart hospital beds. Think about jet engines. That what's going to happen is compute is going to have to move to the edge, where that data is being collected because you don't have the time to bring all that data back to a data center, process it, and send it back out. Think of an autonomous driving car. That car is making decisions real time about the data that's collecting. So even a second or a half a second latency isn't going to be good enough. So we see a big opportunity about compute at the edge, obviously wireless LAN at the edge and campus and branch. So we think it's a big opportunity for us. I don't know how big it will be. You know, it's at it's at its earliest stages, but we think it's perfectly matched to our core DNA of being the best in the world in compute storage networking with low power and long battery life. Because compute at the edge, it has to be small and it has to have very low power um, consumption.